fam, welcome back to my channel. My name is Fresh Dew, if you're new here. And if you are new here, then what's happening? What's on it? What's happening? Oh, ay, ay, ay. <laughs> As you can see from the title, it's a video relating to 90s outfits and how to have a 90s style. I'm not saying that I have the best style in the world. My style is literally like a chameleon. It changes every three seconds. So I figured I would make this video to show you guys some tips or some like weird things that you might have not thought about when it comes to piecing together outfits to make it seem like you have a 90s style. And I really, really hope you enjoyed this video and let's get started. Mr. Son is being kind of uh, the goofy, go goofy goober today. I've said this multiple times, but people always look down on thrifting like it's disgusting or like you can't wash the clothes after you buy them. You're saving yourself your money and you're improving your style for like really cheap. So it's just all about common sense. Whenever I go thrifting, I like to look for mainly baggy clothes. Clothes? Is that what we call it now? It's like in the men's section. Sometimes I like to go to the little boy section. I don't know how to say this in a nice way. Some little boys are pretty big for their age, so. <laughs> so if I can fit into the bigger little boys shirts, then I'm good because I mean that it costs less than a shirt that I would find in the women's section. I saw this in one of my favorite YouTubers videos. She was saying how the reason that you usually find better stuff in the men's section is because they automatically categorize branded things and a lot of athletic items with the men so they just throw it in the men's section and it could literally be something that was branded or marketed for a woman another place that i love to shop at or shop on because it's online are romway shein and zaffle so whenever i shop on clothing websites like that i like to look for stripes because they have a lot of cheap shirts that are striped i also love to look on those websites for jewelry because their jewelry is extremely cheap also in addition to that aliexpress we buy jewelry from aliexpress you can just put clear nail polish all over it let it dry for a little minute after it's finished drying then it's not gonna get all crusty what's the right word i'm looking it's not gonna get rusted like it's not gonna rust that's the tea you just gotta know where you're putting your money in that's all i have to say the other day i bought these cherry earrings from aliexpress those cost me no more than a dollar know that you can find clothing pieces that look like they're from the 90s anywhere. It all comes down to the way you style the clothing piece. I'm showing you guys how to save your coins. Like, dress for less. You heard? Your hair plays a huge role when it comes to style. Don't just stick with your regular hairstyle. Try to cut your hair into bangs in the front. Like, it brings this 90s vibe to anything, in my opinion. In addition to that, barrettes, like the little clips you put in your hair, they sell those at the dollar store, like different colors for a dollar. If you can't see them at the dollar store, they have a hair supply shop. If you don't like to put barrettes in your hair, try putting them in your jeans, because I know a lot of people do that. At first, I thought that was really, really weird, but now I kind of like, I want to try it out. And and those little hair butterfly things, I also love those. You can try hair scrunchies if you have long hair. An essential to having a 90s style is to wear striped clothing. So like I said earlier, I love to get my striped clothing from places like Zaful, Romway, Forever 21. They sell it for really, really cheap on a regular basis. Also, if you don't have a turtleneck and you think you're gonna have a 90s style, you might as well just leave the room right now because no, no. They can be worn in so many creative ways. One of my favorite 90s fashion trends is to layer short sleeves over long sleeves. So this definitely comes down to the kind of patterns that you like to see together. Since it's winter time, it gets really, really cold around where I live. And I don't want to leave the house looking like I'm running on two brain cells with a whole short sleeve shirt on. Whenever that happens, the first thing I usually turn to is to wear the short sleeve shirt and wear like a black turtleneck underneath. Jeans are so important. They play a huge role in any style, in any outfit. <laughs> Like I 
mentioned before, I love to shop in the men's section, but another reason is you can wear extra large things as dresses if you're on the shorter side or like medium height area. Wearing that and then wearing a pair of boots or chunky sneakers really goes together in my opinion. I also love windbreakers. When they're styled the right way, they honestly look really, really pretty. Another 90s staple are overalls. I have a deep love for overalls. It's kind of insane. Sneakers. That's another thing that reminds me so much of the 90s. Some of my favorites are Fila Disruptors, Doc Martens, uh, they're beautiful in my opinion, but they're also, they run you a check. Just throwback sneakers in general definitely give you that 90s look. I feel like I'm saying that word so wrong. They're so important and whenever I take my hair out of braids I always like to wear dangly earrings such as the one I'm wearing right now or just something that frames my face a lot better If not, I just look like a boiled egg. If you have a low neck shirt like a v-neck shirt Wearing um, layered necklaces definitely fill out the space on your neck. If not, it just makes your neck look really, really empty. Something that I love to do is to color coordinate my jewelry. Like if I'm wearing a necklace that's gold, I wear earrings that have some kind of gold on them. Belts also make a huge difference. Checkered belts and chain belts and just a good belt really makes your outfit look 10 times better. Check it. That is exactly What's up Jake Paulers? Jake Jake Paulers. Like socks can also be color coded with your outfit as much as anything else. Like you can color code your shirt with your jeans, but you can also color code your socks with your shirt. Some bags that also give the 90s vibe are fanny packs. Kankins, like I have a Kankin. I wanted one for the longest time and now I have it and like it's my little baby. I love it so much. Definitely get one if you have the opportunity to follow Instagram accounts that are relating to 90s style. Because sometimes if you have a brain fart at 5 o'clock in the morning and don't know what to wear, those are like the best things ever. Just look on them and see if you have similar pieces to what the person is wearing in the picture and incorporate that into your own outfit for the day. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you took one thing or another out of this video to incorporate in your style. And if you don't like the 90s style and this is just a video that you wanted to watch just for fun, I hope you enjoyed it or I hope I fulfilled whatever you came here for. Thank you guys so much for the support. I love you so much. If you made it to this point in the video, make sure you comment popcorn. That's all I can think about right now. Comment popcorn. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Baby smoked some cough and she said I got baby lungs She asked me if I got a lie Yeah, my favorite one That Ronson princess, she the best I never trade for none